everybody it's felisa and this is an entry into a video a video day in may shout out to my may babies my fellow taurians happy birthday and what's up so this vlog is about forgiveness and you know it's a, a little bit of a difficult topic for me to talk about because i am a taurus and if anybody knows anything about a taurus we are bulls for a reason. We are stubborn to a fault, and we will hold a grudge until we die. Death can't even keep it from us. So forgiveness is something that I've had to work on. <laughs> forgiveness is something that I've had to, you know, like really, really, really work on. And um, I'm very quick to apologize simply because I do a lot of time in, in self-introspection and, you know, deep dive and all that kind of stuff. Um, cause I just don't want to be an asshole out in these streets. Pardon me. But aside from that, I, um, I just think, you know, it's no reason to not apologize if I've done something to somebody, you know, so there's that. But I have had people in my life who have wounded me and wounded me deeply and, um, I never saw fit to apologize and it's difficult when it comes from people who say that they love you you know whether it's your intimate relationships whether it's your girlfriend relationships whether it's you know just even in your family actually forgiving somebody who uh says that they love you is tough what's even tougher is forgiving somebody when they haven't apologized and they haven't asked you for forgiveness but i learned a long time ago of course and this is a biblical a principle a christian principle which is you know forgiveness is actually for yourself it's not for the other person it's to release you out of the jail and the bondage that you have um with unforgiveness and the reason that is is because every time you think about this person you resurface the emotions attached to him or her and the thing that they did the trauma that they inflicted in, um, on you the unmitigated sheer gall that they did not apologize and just you become angry all over again and it just is a never ending cycle these people ultimately wind up living rent free in your head because you think about them and think about them often and you have this surge of upset and just you know I can't believe and then you call your, your you know your peoples whoever your peoples are make them listen to the story over and over again about how this person did you dirty and they probably wishing that you would just get over it I mean they want to be a, a, a sounding board for you but they're tired of listening to you vent about the same story for the last 15 years so I'm gonna give you some tips on how I've managed to move past never getting an apology so number one learn the art of visualization i believe strongly that visualization brings about manifestation but we don't control when the manifestation is so i just simply in my prayer time and my meditation time and my quiet time would focus on that person i will see them I will remember their voice i will remember you know the way that they sound the way that they smell and the reason that you do that is because it becomes real to you. Then I will visualize them saying that they were apologetic, that they apologized, that they were sorry, that they didn't mean to hurt me, that they didn't mean to cause me pain, that they were wrong, and that they accept responsibility. And I will repeat that over and over again, and it felt real. And once it started to feel real, I was able to go on to the second part, which was healing. And that's honestly the most important part of this whole thing. Because as long as you hold on to that, as long as you continue to wrap arms around whatever offense that is, every time you think about that person, like I said, it just resurfaces old memories and you it you can't heal. That's like constantly ripping a, a, a scab off of a healing wound. Like why? Who does that? Eventually you cause damage, more damage to the site and it never quite heals right. So you want to be able to promote your own healing in a healthy way and let that person go on with their life because they clearly have and you go on with yours. And the best way to do that is to heal. After you start to heal, you're in a better position to let it go. And the, the way the litmus test is always when you think about that person and you don't have a... Mm, get on my nerves or, mm, you know or you want to say something negative about that person honestly the minute that you can think about that person and it doesn't like you have you're neutral like that's where the healing is like I'm not even suggesting that you need to come up with a positive memory maybe you will 
because I'm sure that you've had some positive interactions with whoever it is at some point. So perhaps you'll get to the point where that's all you remember. You know, just be careful, child, because nostalgia is like crack for old people. We get to ruminating about the good old days, and next thing you know, we think that we able to hip roll and do the splits and we done hurt ourselves so anyway don't do that don't start thinking about the good old days and you know trying to resurface and reconnect relationships relationships are dead and separate for a reason i'm not saying that you can't ever reconnect a relationship certainly you can but you want to make sure that the timing is right you want to make sure that it's the appropriate time to do that and you don't want to do that in the, the throes of nostalgia anyway moving on so once you're able to do that and to start to let that person go, that's when you start to really exist in peace. And that's where you need to be. That's where you ought to be. So, you know, today, if that's you, if you are out there and you have, I'm the sound of my voice. <laughs> no. If you're out there and you have, you know, just an issue with someone because they did something to you and then they never came back and apologized. They never tried to put that back together. They never tried to make it right. Don't hold on to that. You got to start to let that go. And when I tell you that forgiveness doesn't mean that it's okay, letting it go doesn't mean that you've forgotten. It doesn't mean any of those things. It doesn't mean that you even accept the behavior. What it is is that I you're saying, I'm not going to let you continue to take up space in my head, rent-free, and cause me all this stress and all this re-traumatizing myself for no reason at all, and I can't enjoy my life fully because this is hanging over my head. You have the power and the ability to cut that mess off anytime you get ready. It's, it's really up to you. So stop carrying around that stuff. Designer luggage is not cute, no matter what we tell ourselves. We stuff them emotions in some Louis Vuitton bags and we think that, oh, because we dressed it up, it's fine or what have you. No, I just think that we have to be able to put ourselves in a position where we're like, you know what, dismissed. I dismissed this mess. I'm not about to deal with this. I'm good. I'm gonna move on and I'm gonna do it in a healthy way. I hope that this has been helpful for you. Start to practice that. Do it for 30 days. And then let me know what your outcome is. I'd be interested to hear it. Talk to y'all later. Bye.